Well, we're continuing to wake up to these beautiful starts here across mid-Missouri. It's what we're waking up to in Columbia. A lot of blue sky greeting us here as we get into our Friday. Temperatures around 50 degrees. We're going to start to turn those around pretty quickly, though getting into this afternoon. Now we were tracking at least the possibility of seeing some fog in some of those low lying areas right around that Highway 65 corridor in some of our far western counties. I think most of this is staying out of the viewing area. But as we get into this afternoon, may see a few more clouds working their way through, but it's going to be hanging on to some sunshine here as we close out this work week. And it's going to be on a good note again. It's what we've gotten used to for better or worse these last couple of days. Middle 70s today, middle 70s tomorrow. Maybe a little closer to the low 70s as we get into Sunday, but still cannot complain about that whatsoever as we get into this weekend. Looking at those wind speeds, though, again, it's going to start to slowly but surely increase as we head all the way through this weekend. And then into Monday and Tuesday, some of those gusts could be reaching up around 25 or 30 miles an hour, keeping things mixed up a little bit better. The reason for that, again, is going to be this trough of low pressure that's going to really start to take hold back toward the west here, and that's going to start to scoot a little bit closer to us. In the meantime, though, we've got high pressure setting up on the Atlantic seaboard, and that's going to kind of wedge us in between those two pressure systems. That'll kind of funnel some of that wind here through the great, through the uh, central plains here. And that includes us into the mid-Missouri area. But as we get into Tuesday, we're going to be tracking a cold front here, swinging on through, and that's going to be bringing us some showers and thunderstorms here to kick off the day. It looks like it's trending more so toward the morning hours, and this is the latest run of future tracking. Again, get you up to 6 o'clock in the morning as some of that starts to work into some of our western counties. And then pushing off toward the east here as we get into the afternoon and evening hours. I think a lot of this is going to clear us off to the east fairly quickly as we get into uh, about the second half of Tuesday. But looking at that ABC 17 storm track seven-day forecast, there's those changes. That cold front's going to be bringing... You guessed it, some cooler air by Wednesday into Thursday. Afternoon high is going to be stuck in the 50s on Veterans Day and maybe something we want to get used to. I think that's where we're going to be hanging out as we close out next weekend, but it's going to be one of those things, maybe a little added incentive to get us out the door as we get into this weekend with those 70s sticking around mid-Missouri.